In the 90s, slow jam R&B was at its peak with artists like Boys to Men and Tony Braxton. And I noticed in the new Jeremiah and Forbatch song Sick and Summer Walker's Heart of a Woman, those beats are really bringing back that sound. So let me show you all the techniques that you can use to achieve this sound. Summer Walker actually released the instrumental to Heart of a Woman. So let's take a listen. You can hear those ambient keys with them thick sliding leads. So I started with an electric piano. And to give it that texture that you kind of hear on that beat, I layered them with this pad along with this portal preset to give it that glitchy ambient fail. For some extra movement and feeling, I added this JD-800, which was a big synth in the 90s. The leads in the heart of a woman are really thick and noticeable, and it gives it that nice sexy R&B vibe. Then I layered the second lead that I actually got off Splice. And when played together, you can hear a beautiful call and response. And if you don't know what a call and response is, it's when two phrases are having a conversation in music. And you'll notice this as they play. Then I added a third lead from the JV1080. The bass, I want to show you the stem from the heart of the woman. It's thick and it has that sliding texture. So I found this sub bass and I ran it through this R bass to give it that nice sub. But just like that song, I've EQ'd out the highs and you can see I've actually just created bass note slides. Now let's listen to the sick beat from Jeremiah and Forbat. They share very similar sounds but have that string, guitar and crispy percussion. So again, add in the Roland strings. Then I just added this guitar slide that I found. And to give it that sexy R&B vibe, textural sounds are important to create it. So I added this tambourine and chime sound. For the drums, I just wanted to add them old school tape drums. So I started off the snares and crispy hi-hats. Then I just added an insane amount of different percussion. And then lastly, the hard hitting kick. Then I've rolled all the drums to this reverb to give it a 90s feel. Let's listen to the solo and how it brings it to life. And for most of the percussion, you can see I've actually made it off the grid and the velocity is also an important part. Let's listen to the drums so they're all on the grid and the velocity is the same. Now let's listen to it with the groove. Then for the master channel, I put a slight reverb on the whole of the beat and you'll see when I play it how it gives it atmosphere. 